As usual, I have another project going on. I have this uh, standalone bathroom shelf that I put in here a couple of months ago to store my extra items on because I don't really have any much cabinet space in the bathroom. And uh, put my towels on the shelf where the drill and such are right now. But anyhow, so what I ended up doing was I got these these hooks and let's see if I can set the camera down and show you. I've already got one installed. I'm going to do two per pole. Okay, we'll try that again. To make it much easier to get the screws in the wall, I'm starting like a little drill hole. Okay. As you can see, I've got a little hole there now. I have a little hole there now. English language has gone down the tubes. Can I did this from under? Okay. Put my screw there. Use my little screwdriver to get it started. Okay, and then when I feel it going into the wood. get my little skill battery powered screwdriver there we go and same thing for the second hole and you can see that's going to hold it pretty well this thing's not going to be moving off my wall when I travel Second hole. That's all I need just to get it started. Another screw. Place it in that hole. Screwing it in. It goes in much, much easier if you just start that tiny little hole. I'm trying to get it straight. There we go. I can feel it going through the wood now. Grab my little skill twisty thing, screwdriver. There you go not moving it is not moving but like I said I'm going to do the bottom shelf the center shelf and the top shelf which is right under there so I'm going to remove objects as I go along Then that way I can take this RV out this week and get it inspected because it's a motorhome and I have to drive it to the inspection station, get it inspected so I can get my new license tag and we'll be good to go for another year. So with the right tools, this was a pretty simple job. My little... Um, skill screwdriver thing that plugs in and charges little tiny screwdriver just to get the screw started then I put it in with that and the drill with a really tiny bit just to get the holes started so they are all up now Yay. 
and um, of course it won't go flush against the cabinet because of the way my floor is but that's okay it um, overrides on my shower wall a little bit but it's not tight so it's not going to hurt that so um, I'll put everything back up left the uh, old towel rack there because I don't want more holes in the wall so um, put everything back up and then my next challenge will be to figure out how to contain everything on there when the RV is moving okay so I have everything up back up that I'm going to put back up here here's a little space heater that I carry that I keep um, covered with a I'm going to keep it covered with a washcloth just to keep the dust out of it. Just some extra washcloths here. Towels. Little hand towel here. Actually, I have a hand towel that hangs on the side over here, too. Um, potpourri, toilet paper, blah, blah, blah. So, how am I going to keep this all contained when I travel? That job is finished. Now we don't wiggle. We're not going anywhere. Matter of fact, oh, I did another one a couple of years ago. I got a caddy to put my things on that I grab every day and use. And um, of course, I put a hook up here and under there is another hook and that sucker doesn't move either it's been up there for years and years so this is how you can gain a little extra space out of a small bathroom that doesn't provide the cabinet space that you may be needing one more thing I wanted to mention was that this was just a simple six pack of coat hooks came with the screws and it actually came with an extra screw which I already packed away and I think I paid like six dollars for it and this uh, bathroom shelving was like 20 bucks so that was a cheap resolution and it's all lightweight so no extra heavy weight in my RV